You're already paying $20 a month for ChatGPT+, so why not get the most out of it and build your own AI art tool? Today, I'm going to walk you step by step through building a custom GPT that generates stunning images of women in casual luxury settings. Before we start building, let's talk about what makes a great GPT. I use a simple framework called CPER, Clarity, Purpose, Engagement, and Reliability. Starting with C equals Clarity. Your GPT needs clear instructions. Without clarity, it won't know what to do. If you're creating an AI art generator with chat GPT, you must tell it exactly what type of images to produce. Next up is P equals Purpose. Your GPT must solve a problem. For example, the AI art generator we are creating help creative entrepreneurs produce luxury themed images quickly, saving them time and effort. Then we have E equals engagement, make your GPT easy and enjoyable to interact with. Instead of complicated commands, it should feel like a smooth conversation. Finally, R equals reliability. Your GPT should produce high quality, consistent results. To do this, we must test outputs before finalizing our GPT. If you're unsure how to structure your GPT idea, I've created a CPER tool that walks you through the process step by step. Welcome to the CPER GPT Coach, your guide to refining and structuring your GPT idea with clarity, purpose, engagement, and reliability. Let's walk through how this works. To begin, simply click the conversation starter shown. The GPT will first ask for your name to personalize the experience, and then it will ask you to describe your GPT idea. The first step is clarity. Here, the GPT will ask you things like, what is the exact purpose of your GPT? Are there any boundaries it should follow? Are there things it should avoid? This step ensures that your GPT has a well-defined purpose and a clear focus. Next, we move on to purpose. If you're unsure of your target audience or the problem your GPT solves, simply say something like, I'm not sure, can you help? The GPT will then suggest potential audiences and walk you through identifying the core problem it addresses. It even provides examples to help you refine your idea. Now it will go into the engagement step. This defines how your GPT interacts with users. What tone should it have? Friendly, professional, playful. For this example, I'll choose professional and engaging. Finally, it will take you to the reliability step. It will ask if there are specific references it should use, how it should handle uncertainty, and whether it should provide additional guidance. Once the framework is complete, the GPT will generate a final summary of your refined idea, along with a prompt that we will use to provide the GPT with instructions. For example, in this demo, we're building a GPT that generates high-quality luxury photography featuring black women in casual yet sophisticated settings, similar to stock photography. It avoids formal attire while incorporating accessories inspired by high-end brands. Now that we have our refined GPT idea, it's time to put it into action. Next, I'll show you exactly how to use this prompt to create our luxury AI art generator within ChatGPT. Want to take your skills even further? If you're interested in learning how to protect your GPT instructions from being stolen, improve your prompt engineering techniques, organize and prioritize tasks to save you up to 10 plus hours a week, check out my GPT Foundations course. All the details are in the description below. Now that the CPER coach has generated our refined GPT idea and the prompt, let's proceed. You can continue in the same conversation or start a new one. Personally, I prefer starting a new one to keep my GPTS organized, but the choice is yours. Now let's paste the prompt into ChatGPT and let it generate our full GPT instructions. ChatGPT is now generating everything we need. The title, the name, the description, the core instructions, and even the image prompts we will use as references. Let's review what was generated and make any necessary tweaks. One important step is checking the generated prompts. Sometimes they might not give the exact results we want, so it's always a good idea to test them and refine as needed. In this case, I noticed some of the prompts weren't producing the right type of images, so I had to tweak and regenerate them. I highly recommend you do this too. It ensures that your GPT creates high quality results. Now that we have our finalized instructions, it's time to configure our custom GPT. First, go to Explore GPTS located in the left sidebar then click on Create to enter the configuration panel. Now we'll fill in the details. Paste the name, add the description, add the instructions, and finally the conversation starter. 
If your GPT will be referencing a lot of prompts, I recommend you copy and paste them into a Word document, save it as a PDF, and upload it here under the Knowledge Base section. For my image generating GPTs, I personally create about 10 to 20 prompts per conversation starter, so using the Knowledge Base is a must. Now let's add a profile image for our GPT. You can either upload your own or use D-A-L-L-E to generate one. Once the image is generated, we'll hit Create to save everything. I always recommend clicking Create first before testing. This ensures nothing gets lost if the page refreshes. At this point, your GPT is fully set up and you can choose your visibility settings. Only me for private use. Anyone with the link for sharing. Submit to the GPT store for public access. Now, the moment of truth. It's time to test our GPT. Let's run a few test prompts to see if it's generating images as expected. If something needs adjusting, you can always go back and refine your instructions. And there we have it. The GPT is working perfectly. Let's try another one. This looks great. Images are looking good and consistent with our aesthetics. Now let's do one more just to make sure it continues to produce what we want. Also, the images generated in this video will be available for download. Just check the description below. Nice. Another image that meets our requirements. And that wraps up our demo. Now you have a fully functional Lux Noir AI art generator built using the CPER framework and customized to your vision. You can find these resources in the description below. The CPER Coach Tool. To refine your GPT ideas, the exact GPT instructions for the Lux Noir AI art generator and the image prompts. Everything you need to create this GPT yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.